Welcome back, and uh, thanks for watching. Um, in this tutorial, I'm going to show you a very uh, interesting tool in uh, in Photoshop. It's called the the vanishing point uh, filter, and it's a uh, it's a very interesting tool, and you can do a lot of things with it. And uh, I'm going to show you how to use it now. Um, in what in, I'm going to show you one way how to use it anyway, and uh, I'm going to show you how to use the vanishing point tool along with the clone stamp. And the clone stamp, as you know, is often used to um, cover things up in photos or, you know, get rid of things that you don't want. Maybe, like, maybe you don't want this little uh, light spot there, or maybe you want to get rid of one of these levers. Or maybe you need to crop down your image, and uh, you need to extend one side or the other of the image. And uh, this is a good way to, to do that. And I'm going to show you... Um, kind of how this works. Uh, the first thing we need to do is uh, go to our layers and, uh, and we will un uh, unlock the background layer by double clicking on it and selecting OK. And then we can hide that. And let's go ahead and make another layer so that we can save our background. Actually, what we'll do, let's go ahead and instead of making another layer, let's just go ahead and copy that layer, that first layer. And you can do that just by dragging it into the new layers area. So we're going to work on, on that layer that is a copy now. Okay, what we're going to do is uh, go to uh, Filter. Uh, actually, first let me show you uh, show you why this is a good tool. And what we'll do, and I'll show you just real quick. It's uh, with, I'll gra grab the clone stamp and I'm going to zoom in a little bit. Um, okay, let's say we want to get rid of something in our image like like th like this bar here um, what you would normally do is you'd grab the clone stamp and you would sample an area from down here maybe probably a lot closer but uh, this is how I'm this is a good way to show you if you sampled it from down there as you can see you get the, the image but the bar is quite a bit smaller than that lever I'll go ahead and cancel that. So you see that the width here is quite a bit smaller than the width there. Okay, so let's go into uh, the Vanishing Point tool now. And I'll show you how it's different. You go to Filter to Vanishing Point. And we'll go ahead and we'll zoom in on that. Uh, oh, actually, the first thing that you need to do in this tool is uh, select your Vanishing Point areas. And you need to select your four points of your Vanishing Point. And I'm going to just go ahead and select here. Actually, if we're going to get rid of that lever, you're going to want to select maybe here, 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 and here. And that's all the more of the selection you need to do, because um, you're just going to be grabbing from somewhere in here. You need to be able to grab somewhere with inside your selection. And you can change, move your selection up and down like this. If uh, the selection turns a different color than blue, you want to you want to make sure that it remains blue like this. Okay. So now I'm going to go ahead and zoom in a little bit, and I'll just grab my zoom, my I, uh, my my zoom tool there. And I'll zoom way in like we had it before. And as you can see, you have a clone stamp tool in this uh, this area. And uh, you work it the same way. You have your uh, hardness, your opacity, diameter is going to be pretty much the size of the, uh, the brush that you're using. And uh, in the same way, you press Alt and make a selection of the area you wanted. I selected from about here last time, and I'll do the same. And uh, as you can see, as you move up and down the tracks, the selection gets either bigger or smaller in your vanishing point kind of grid that you, that you selected. And you can just, uh, and it also overlays the picture over your, uh, your area. So what you do is you'll just come up and you click, click, and uh, you've pretty much made your selection. You're, you've pretty much gotten rid of that. Let's see if I can get rid of this part here very easily. It might be a little bit more tricky. Uh, yeah, it doesn't quite line up. You can uh, adjust these, and it should... Let's see if we can adjust our... If we adjust our path here, then maybe that'll make that a little easier. We'll just adjust it to the area that we need pretty much. And the kind of, if you just adjust it to the area that you're currently working on, that's the best way to do this. So as you can see, I'm just going to try to be getting rid of this little part here, so I'm, I, I'm, I got it down to that little area. And what I'll do is I'll make a selection up here, 
And uh, that lines up a little bit better. Not 100%, but pretty good. And you can certainly get it 100% if you take a little bit more time. But I'm not going to, because I want to show you another thing that you can do with this. But as you can see, um, and actually I'll go ahead and just show you. Um, I, I just clicked OK and went back to the image. And pretty much you've gotten rid of that lever. And uh, take a little bit more time and make sure that it, it's perfect. But uh, that's pretty good. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and go back to my uh, filter, vanishing point. Oh, actually, sorry. Um, let's say you need to size down your image, and uh, you're left after you size it down. And I know every, that you've been in this situation before, and you're left with something kind of like this, maybe. And you need to extend. Well, let's do it on the other side, just because the tower is not over there. You've been left with something like this, and you need to extend it. Um, Vanishing Point tool is a great tool for that, and I'll show you. Uh, go to Filter, Vanishing Point, and uh, let's get rid of that one. And you can just press uh, Backspace or Delete to get rid of that one, and uh, make a new one. And let's go ahead, and you can kind of what I said before. You make a kind of work in small areas. So you click your four points that you need, and then you see how it's red there. That's not good. I'm going to go ahead and extend that to the end of my page, and we're going to figure out how to make it blue. Okay. See, now it's blue. That's good. Okay. And then go ahead and take your clone stamp, and make a selection somewhere, maybe right... You want to get kind of something a little precise that you know you can line up with somewhere else. So I'm getting in right in the corner of this little beam here, so that I can kind of get into the corner of this little beam here. And just work like that. And then, uh, so I've gotten that little area done. And then let's go ahead and uh, get rid of that. Let's let's um, let's just I'll only do this area. I mean, the sky is going to be tough. You can figure out how to do that on your own. It's uh, it's always tough to do the sky, but uh, this will really help you to do it. Uh, I'm going to show you. I'm going to just show you how to extend this kind of bridge area because it's also it also would be pretty tough in kind of normal situations without this tool. Okay, once again, it's red, so we got to figure out how to make it blue. And what you do is you'll just drag around these uh, anchors until it gets blue. Okay, now it's blue. Now select your clone tool. Make your selection. And I'll just select somewhere that I know that I can find over here. Oop. Didn't get anything selected, so I'll try again. Oh, you have to select with inside your uh, your uh, your uh, vanishing point tool. Remember that. I didn't just select there. And now you can see you have your selection. And you can extend it just like that. Okay. Now, let's go ahead and I'm just going to move it down like this to save a little time. I usually like to make a whole new selection, but this should save a little time, maybe. If I can get it. Okay, scratch that. We're going to grab a whole new selection. So I just delete that by pressing backspace or delete on there. And you can just grab a whole new selection. Whoop. And once again, you make it four points. Make them blue. You can elongate it and press Alt to get your selection. First, you have to select your stamp, clone stamp. Alt to get your selection. 
And move it on down the line. Okay. Starting to look pretty good. I'm going to do this next chunk just in one piece. Um, like I said, though, work in smaller sections. But I'm going to do this last one in one piece. Okay, we have our blue map there. Select your clone stamp tool. And then something like this, maybe make the diameter a little bigger. Um, let's go ahead and grab our map there, our vanishing tool. Whoop. I want this selected. And let's grab it and just take it down like there. Okay. And we'll grab our brush. Make our selection here somewhere. Okay. And as you can see, kind of line up the colors and stuff. And then you just kind of do that. And then uh, make one last selection that ought to do it. Well, when you're in an area like this, you might be able to get away with the selection here and just moving it up, just like a normal clone stamp. Okay. So now that's done. And it, you can see that, uh, and I'm not going to do the sky, like I said, um, but I'll press OK. And you can see that you've uh, pretty much extended this area. And you can kind of go in and, uh, and work with it a little more. Um, I obviously have a little bit of an opacity going on here that was probably done in the uh, in the vanishing point tool but if you uh, go over it a little bit more um, it looks pretty good it should look more like this um, all, all across here and uh, it works really well um, and that's pretty much it for this tutorial um, thanks for watching I hope you learned something uh, tell your friends please subscribe to my channel uh, Thank you very much.